put it up in a bun. Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am starting with a fresh face, nothing, no eyebrows, no foundation, nothing in my skin. So we're gonna start from fresh and we have something very different. I'm finally going to use my James Charles palette which I'm a little nervous to use. So if you want to see what I do with this palette, please keep on watching. So I'm gonna start priming my face and I used a Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. This one right here. Let's go ahead and moisturize her face. And you can see that I have lots of dark circles and discoloration all over my face. So we're gonna go ahead and cover all of that up. All right, next we're gonna use the Frisali Skin Tune Blur. This is a primer, and you wanna use a primer just so you can fill in um, all, your per all your pores. So the reason that I say I'm a little scared to use a James Charles palette is because his colors are very pigmented and I'm gonna show you right now they're beautiful and <laughs> I couldn't wait to use them but I'll show you right now um, it's just so pigmented I definitely have to wear some type of primer on my eyes and you have to find a look that you know what you're doing and I'm not I don't know what I'm doing so we're gonna see what happens so I'm gonna try this look right here this is his um, box look and let's see what we come up with here I mean it's a whole bunch of um, colors. it has orange it has purple it has green it has white it has a whole bunch of different colors so I'm going to dig in this whole palette to see See if we could recreate it somehow. Get rid of these little colors. I would would have thought that maybe he would have wrote them in the palette somewhere, but I don't know. It's, they're all written in this little. I don't know if you guys can see it. Probably not. In this little plastic here. Okay, so let's go in. I'm gonna put my foundation on. Let me wet my sponges real quick. All right, I'm back. All right, let's go ahead and... This is the Too Faced Peach Perfect. of the e.l.f. 16 hour camel concealer just because my under eye circles are very are very um I'm gonna cover this here too anywhere that is like dark my under eye uh, under eye circles are very dark and then I'm just gonna Dab this all in. Girl, you are covered. Let's prime our eyelids before. All right, for the eyebrows, I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, this is the little, what is this? What do you call this? It's like a Beauty Express for eyebrows and eyes. This is a little kit that comes with like stencils and a little brush and 
I have just been using this forever and it works for me so I'm going to do my eyebrows. Alright guys, so after I fill it in with the Anastasia powder, I'm going to go in with, with the Ardell Stroke A Brow um, and I'm just going to do little strokes up just to give it that uh, hair effect. I'm hoping that one day I could get my eyebrows microbladed because this takes too much time and a girl needs her eyebrows so the girl that does my eyebrows is in LA and I live in New York so it's a very far commute I must say um and I try to go to her at least once a year just to get my eyebrows done but I really want to get them microbladed by her because she does such an amazing job that she's the only girl that touches my eyebrows so and now my daughter started recently going to her as well because she's 16 so she started doing her eyebrows and she only does her eyebrows there as well because every time I do them here in New York for some reason I end up with no brows so I found someone on Instagram and I have been going to her since 2014 and she's the only person that touches my eyebrows so I've been wanting to get them done by her for a really long time and hopefully sometime this year I could get them microbladed because I'm just tired of not having brows and having to like fill them up all the time and it's such a hassle just and it's so time consuming I just want to wake up with brows you know Moisturize the lips. Alright. Alright, let's jump to it. These colors are so beautiful. I mean, I don't even want to touch them. But we have to get in here. Am I the only one that doesn't want to touch like new palettes? Like I didn't want to get it in there. It's so pretty. Alright, so let's see. I don't know what um what color is this? He has like a light, he has like white, he definitely has like white and then blue and then dark blue. Let's try it. James, send me the good vibes girl, send me the good vibes. Let's try this one right here just to cover, let's start it off. The whole, the whole lid. Just to give it like a base for it and then we'll work from there. <laughs> Let's do the light blue color. I, I, I think it's this color right here. If you guys can see it, this color right here. Let's do the pink. Which is the pink, girl? I think this is this one right here. The bright pink. I mean, if you are someone that likes really bright colors, you are going to love this palette because this is bright, girl. This is bright. Definitely. I'm going to grab a piece of tape. And we are going to put it just like this. 
And the reason for the tape is so it could give it that look, um, that sharp look. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna pick a little bit more of that pink and bring it a little bit higher because under that pink, we're gonna put some, <clears throat> some purple. Go ahead and grab the purple. It seems like it's the uh, dark purple. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this purple here. Bring the color down a little bit to the lid. I was definitely doing it um, as a V, the purple. And now I'm bringing it down. A little bit to the uh, the lid, not the whole lid, just maybe a little, like the little end. Because on top of it, we're gonna put the darker blue. And I'm just blending everything together: the pink, and the purple, and the first blue that we put down on our lids. All right, guys, I want to go in with the darker blue. This one right here. I don't know if you guys can see. This is more like of a darker blue. We're gonna take it in and blend it in this uh, outer part of the lid. And blend it all together. Let's go in with this one right here. This big one right here, that's a... That's pretty big. And he has a lot of like shimmery colors too, so it's pretty. All right, let's grab that orange and let's put it, see how he has it. I guess it's just like this part right here. Like just this part, let's try. Very colorful. All right, I think we're done with the orange. Let's go in with the white that he has on the corner of his eyes. Let's do that. He has a little bit of glitter in there too, but I don't think that's part of this, this palette. It's just the white. So I'm gonna go ahead with this white right here. Maybe I should use another brush. Yeah, I'm gonna use this flat brush instead. I'm gonna use this flat one instead of the fluffy one, and then we we'll use the fluffy one to blend everything together. All right. So again, with the white. Pigmented. I think I should have used maybe concealer under this. I'm gonna spray the brush to see if it grabs a little bit more of the white. Let's, let's leave the white for now. Okay, so let's take this off. See what I mean? The line. It's like that shape here once again. I think this one's gonna be like really pigmented because the fish Let's go in with this green right here. It seems like he has our a green right here in this corner of the eye, so let's take that in. Orange, we have all those colors in there. Let's see what this is gonna look like at the end. I'm gonna grab a little bit of this, um, um, I'm gonna grab a little bit of this like beige color, and I'm gonna just like pop this up here. 
because I see that he doesn't have anything by his brow bone. Um, so I think I'm going to take a little bit of uh, concealer. Kelly Baker. And this pencil here is like a concealer that goes, that's for the brow. So I'm going to pop that on here a little bit because I see that he has that. And I'm just going to blend that in. Alright guys, I'm going to do some eyeliner. Let's do the eyeliner now. Seems like he has a little bit, his eyeliner is not thick, it's more on the thin side. So let's go ahead and do that. Put eyeliner on top. I'm going to take the, this little brush right here and I'm going to take the black eyeshadow palette this one it's so dark you guys and I'm gonna put a little bit on the lash line okay, I'm gonna take this fluffy brush and I'm just gonna fluff everything together or I'm gonna blend everything together I am going to put some mascara and some eyelashes and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I put the lashes and the mascara and let's go on with the rest of the face. I am going to put um, bronzer on my cheeks. Where is the bronzer? Bronzer. That. Oh my gosh, did I take too much? It's okay. Let's just blend it in. Let's do some. The uh, highlighter. It doesn't seem like um, James has any highlighter on his eyes, so I'm just gonna leave it at is. But I will put on my cheeks. I'm gonna line my lips with the um, NYX Color Ever. It's really tiny. This is the one that I found, but I have a definitely have a bigger one, but a tiny one. Okay, and I'm gonna go in with the Jeffree Star. This is in color Androgony. I'll list it down below. Um, it's a pretty color. Alright guys, I think this is it. I think we recreated, well we tried to recreate the James Charles cover. I don't know, tell me, tell me what you guys think. Tell me what maybe I could have done, maybe if you liked it, if you didn't, if you're gonna try this look. I wanna hear from you guys. Tell me what's on your mind. Um, and I think that's it guys. I think this is the look of um, I hope you guys liked it and I hope to see you in my next video. Please don't forget to subscribe and give me a big thumbs up.
and I will see you next time.